Look at this nice one right here. Oh, Robbie's on too. Hey YouTube family, this is Robert with Coastal GX. Today we're out here in Port Mansfield. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done a, a, a fishing, a fishing episode on a boat. Today we're with my son Robbie and my cousin Marco, and we're gonna be trying to hit these areas of uh, Port Mansfield. It's the first time we do Port Mansfield with uh, Marco over here, and uh, we're pretty, pretty stoked. Uh, we think, we think he's gonna put us on some fish, man. He's done well before, so. You know, uh, we're gonna give it a try. Let's hope, let's hope everything turns out okay. Hey guys, normally when we come out here, it's even in Arroyo City, everywhere we go, right here in Laguna Madre, it's always windy, but today it's exceptionally calm. Check out how glassy the water is. Uh, probably the winds are probably not even, nowhere, not even over 10, right? What do you think, maybe eight? Six? Nah, maybe like six. Like six miles an hour? Yes. And uh, so we got our captain here, El Primo Marco. And uh, Marco, tell us what's the plan, man, for now, the first step. So for now, we're going to fish with a live bait since we don't have a, a wind. Uh, once the start, uh, wind start picking up, we're going to start drifting. That's pretty much the plan for today. <laughs> Oh, Marco's hooked on. So he we, he switched from the live bait croakers, and uh, we're now we're trying a, a different setup here. Get the net. Get the net. Oh, get the net. I'm over here talking, concentrating on the video. There we go. It's a nice trout, bro. Nice trout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Marco. So after pulling a Butterfingers move and sliming Marco, we continue to fish using different soft plastic lures. Let's throw lures here because there's a lot of uh, bait jumping around. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Guys, that's... Oh no, stay in here, boy. Stay in here. That is a chunk of a trout. Look at this. Look at this nice one right here. Oh, Robbie's on too. Nice. We got one here and Robbie's got one at the same time. Another youngin. Good job, son. Got something here. Another little trout. Baby. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't catch this on camera, but just got another one, just undersized. So let's let it go. Hey guys. So we've been moving to different spots. Uh, we were able to get a couple of trout, but that's about it. Uh, Robbie kept on pulling a bunch of baby trout. He was doing well there, but. None of them were keepers, so we kept on uh, throwing them all back. Marco, Marcos has thrown pretty much everything that he can think of, from live bait, live croaker, 
you know, to uh, top water, you name it, he's done it. So we're really, really trying. However, I'm excited because this time around, we find ourselves at uh, Gladys, uh, Gladys Hall, uh, which is north uh, from uh, where you launch your boats there in Port Mansfield. And I've always heard about this place. Uh, I I'm pretty stoked that we're here and uh, we're gonna give it a try and see how it, how it goes. But it's a very special place. People say all these nice things, uh, it's a, it produces a lot, so let's see what happens. We can only give it a try, right? Nada, not one single bite while we were there. So we decided to head to port. We refueled and continued on with the grind. Dude, I didn't realize we were that far. Okay guys, so it's been a long day. Let's see what time is it. It's already 1.30. We've been out here all day. So far, only two keeper trout, but we've been trying. We, we've gone so far. We're all the way to Gladys Hole, and now we're, man, uh, we're, where are we close to, close to Peyton's? Close to Peyton's over here, uh, you know, south of the, of the boat ramp in uh, Port Mansfield. And uh, we're gonna give it a try over here. We, we, we're doing everything we can, but uh, the water's really murky. The wind is really, man, it's, it's not blowing much. What, what do you think? It's, now it's like maybe 11, maybe about 11 miles an hour or something like that. But um, anyway, we're gonna give it another try out here and let's see how it goes. Okay, so we see a lot of redfish. We see a lot of trouts, a lot of trout, a lot of redfish. We can spot them. The only problem is that uh, they're just not biting. They didn't want what we had. So we're gonna switch it up to the old trusty gulp shrimp and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Marco got something here. There you go. You think it'll make it or no? No? Is a four or no? Yeah, uh, see, no, it's a four. No, I still have you I think it's too small. Here comes one. Oh, uh, looks like a baby. There you go. It's a small one. It's a small one, but it's coming in. Oh, he's got a little fight, bro. He's got a little fight to him. Uh, and gentleman's release. Bring it in, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. He's he's here. Oh man. Oh my God. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, guys, that's gonna be a wrap up. So a total of just three trout, three keeper trout, and a ton of babies, ton of juveniles juvenile trout that we were able to catch today and that was about it still we had a great time uh Michaels is new to Port Mansfield this is his first time fishing out here and uh you know he was we were trying different things really really trying to make it happen uh his stomping grounds are usually in Arroyo City and this time around you know we came out here we tried different spots and man it got rough it was rough out there the fishing was rough and so was the heat my camera decided to give up after nine hours, so please forgive the lackluster production on this episode. I have much more video content coming your way. Stay safe and get up, get out, do something. <laughs>